Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are talking about episode number two of the Team of the Season so far preparation series on this channel. We're going to be looking at today some of the preparations that you can make on the Ultimate Team Market to possibly uh, make some coins and also just kind of be prepared for what could happen with a massive market rise with a lot of cards during team of the season, as a lot of people are on the game, especially with the current conditions in the world, uh, with you know quarantine and stuff like that, even more people are going to be at home on the game playing FIFA during team of the season, which is going to cause a rise in the market in out of packs special cards. So that's going to be the video today. We're going to be looking at uh, all different cards involving team of the weeks in FIFA 20. We're going to be looking back at FIFA 19 and looking at examples. Uh, of cards that really rose up and I'm going to talk to you about some cards this year that could really go up in price as well and to be honest with you there are tons of cards this year that look really really great to me uh, that could be rising up out of packs but I want to talk about this scenario and, and why did some of these cards last year uh, very popular out of packs meta they fit the game's meta they were cards that people used why did these cards boom during team of the season what made them go up and also, uh, when can you can you still buy some of these cards this year, right? From, from the FIFA 20 teams, uh, foot birthday cards, shapeshifters, uh, winter refresh, and future stars. Today, we're just basically talking about all of these old team of the weeks, out of pack special cards, the investment opportunity, uh, just the potential that they have to rise in price, when to buy them, when to sell them, stuff like that in this video today. today. So we're gonna talk all about it. Basically, again, going through the basis of this, why did these cards rise? Now, of course, we, we are experiencing it right now. We're in the middle of a point in time in the foot market where a lot of stuff is being panic sold. That's what this graph is what you're seeing here last year, right? Last year in FIFA 19, Team of the Season started on May 10th. This Robertson Inform was in uh, Team of the Week 29 a couple weeks before Team of the Season came out. He dropped in the panic sale before Team of the Season. He was a 270K card. Dropped to 190,000 coins, started to rise back up, and actually went up a decent amount for that first week in league during um, team of the season most consistent. There were some Premier League, I think um, there was a center back from the Premier League, uh, Vertongen, that was in. Alderweireld was in last year, um, which may have made this card rise up a little bit more. Uh, but a lot of these cards, as you can tell, he went from 190k all the way up to 236,000 coins. It kind of stayed there, hit a, a peak of 250 on PlayStation during the team of the season. But why, again, why do these cards rise? And again, it revolves around just the meta uh, that these cards are, and it revolves around the coin inflation that happen, that happens during team of the season as well. Look at this. John and Sancho was almost a million coins last year. This Future Stars, very, very hyped up card, went down in the panic sell before uh, team of the season, which is right here, 448,000 coins again on that May 8th, right before Tots Most Consistent comes out. People are on the game for Tots. He's still pretty low, right? He hit 435. He's 462, slowly rising, slowly rising. Every week he goes a little bit higher, and then boom, Bundesliga team of the season hits. He takes a little bit of a hit in price and then spikes up in the two weeks after that, going from a low point of 430 all the way to 590,000 coins on the PlayStation. Uh, with that card right there. So again, what kind of cards do you want to look for to invest in this stuff? When can you buy them? And what's kind of the criteria here for which cards go up? Because not all cards are going to go up. All, most cards will go up. But again, it's got to be meta. It's got to be from a top five league. And it's got to be popular, right? And you, you can check on some cards that are popular in this, this year's game. Um, <clears throat> and some of the cards that went up the most last year were actually position changes which makes me think the shapeshifters have a really, really good chance to do well this year. I've been talking about that uh, this week in its entirety, uh, that if you want to buy a card out of packs for the, your team, uh, shapeshifters look really, really good if you have any of those. But this center attack in Mitsane went from 390, inched up during Premier League Tots. He goes to 445K in the week and league, comes back down. And then the next week he goes even higher. So he goes from 390K all the way up to 532,000 coins couple weeks in <clears throat> to team of the season. So these are some examples here, right? Again, Prem, a lot of these cards are Premier League, not Prem. I said Prem instead of Meta. Meta, 
Premier League are the ones that do the best, the position changes and stuff like that. The, the bottom line is, this is a great way to quote unquote invest if you're building a team. And you might look at some of these cards prices and you're like, yo, Nate, uh, you're telling me these cards are still low, but I kind of missed the boat, right? This shapeshifter at all, I'm telling you right now, is going to be fantastic during the team of the season. This is one of the most hyped up cards in this game. He was 700K last weekend. He was down to 552. Now he's up to 570. But could he could he rec return to 700k again? Absolutely. This card could very easily, with the coin inflation, it's going to happen from all the packs that are opened up during team of the season, lightning rounds, uh, from the rewards with tots cards being in the elite picks. Uh, this is the stuff that goes up, and the stuff that goes up the most. Uh, since think about those guys that are getting the elite team of the week, they're getting elite team of the week picks because they're getting elite three or above. They're getting those guaranteed team of the season players tradable in rewards. Again, we haven't confirmed that those are coming, but hopefully we get that confirmation soon. It should be coming again. Look at some of these cards that really boomed up the most. The higher tier budget. If there's anybody that you want for your team, even though it seems like you might be missing out on the lowest price right now, look at some of these rises from last year. Team of the year Van Dyke, right? Ended up not being the best version. There was a 96 Van Dyke team of the season that came out. Still, look what happened to the second best version of Van Dyke. He was 908,000 coins on PlayStation a week before Prem Tots. Prem Tots comes out. He was a million coins. He actually got panic sold big time on that first day. I don't know if you guys remember this or not, but this card, I think, was down under 900,000 coins. At least I'm remembering Xbox prices. Uh, this guy was getting panic sold like crazy when that 96 Team of the Season VVD came out. Uh, and then, but look what happens though. After rewards later in the week, this card goes from a million coins all the way up to 1.3 mil in the week after that, just because of the pure inflation on the market. Cristiano Ronaldo team of the year, 6.2 million goes all the way up to 8.5 million coins. Uh, Mbappe team of the year as well went like crazy, crazy high. I don't think I have that one uh, pulled up up here, but Again, the higher tier market, if there's anybody that you want for your team, some of these prices are actually going to go higher than what they were at their highest before this. Ronaldo hit 8.5 like one time. He was 8.4 in, in February. He dropped all the way down to 6, point, 6 mil flat, right? He was actually under 6 mil for a bit right there. And then up to 8.5 mil on both consoles a couple weeks after that. So... Again, the stuff that's going to go up really high this year is got to be rare. It's got to, excuse me, it's got to be rare. It's got to be meta. And it's got to be linkable, right? Because a lot of people want to use these cards in their team. What are cards that I see that are rare, meta, and linkable that shouldn't have too much panic selling because of other, like their self getting a team of the season card, like that VVD team of the year, for example. This Ben Yedder might take a hit in price because of the uh, team of the season that could come out for the same card. But this card might take a, a hit in price. He's 1.5 right now. This guy was like uh, 1 point, I think he was like 1.3 or 1.4 on Saturday when he was the absolute lowest. 1.4, uh, man. And look at the rebound that he has had already. That's how you know a card is meta. But there's some cards that haven't risen a ton. Marcelo, right? This guy earlier this year, this is a card that a lot of people want, by the way, and that a lot of people will use during TOTS. This guy was 1.4 million at his highest. He was 1.4 last weekend. Dropped down to close to a million coins. I remember seeing this guy like 1.05 last weekend. He's now up to 1.2. So if you look at it that way, it's like 150K rise. But he's still, you know, 250K lower than what he was two weeks ago. I would expect almost all of these really top tier meta cards to return to the prices that they were right before this panic selling happened. I think you will see Marcelo at 1.4 million coins again in foot. I think this Messi will do well. And again, I'm talking a lot about shapeshifters, but we can roll back looking at some of these other team of this other out of pack special cards and look at them as well. Uh, these future stars are very rare. A lot of people like to use these cards, right? Tamori. Uh, last year, there was a couple. Upa Makana was a center back that did insane last year as a future star during team of the season. He rose incredibly during Bundesliga Tots. Uh, Premier League center backs in this game, right? We're going to have a team of the season, Joe Gomez, which might hurt this guy's price in the next week. If you see panic selling because of a substitute good that comes on the market, especially on an out-of-pack special card, card at all during team of the season. Like I talked about VVD, he got a higher version. His 95 was panic sold and rebounded. 
If Joe Gomez comes out this Friday and you see this Tamori card get panic sold even down to like 400k flat uh, where he was on Sunday, he's already up to 430. That for me is a huge, huge buy because from here on out, all this stuff is just going to continue to go up. Like we looked at these graphs last year, we hit a low point right at the beginning of team of the season and then maybe another low point during Prem Tots. And then after that, it just shot up for the next three, four or five weeks. That's going to be the same thing here with these cards this year. If you haven't bought any of these cards, and again, it all depends on your coin amount, right? You might be trying to build a team and some of these guys are in your team. Your 500K team that you want to buy might have like a Future Stars um, Musa Dembele or, or a Future Stars Kamara in it. Uh, I Even though some of those cards have increased a little bit in value, I would say that you want to try to get in on some of these cards either this week if you see some sort of sell-off after weekend league rewards uh, on Sunday after most consistent team of the season, or even on Friday, if a team of the season card comes out, that could be a substitute good again for one of these other out of pack special cards. Cause right now we're still in a low point, right? We're still in a low point. If you can find that entrance where it goes just a little bit lower from whatever reason, sort of panic or whatever, that's going to be your buy point from here on out. Cause I think a lot of this stuff until the end of the year, is going to go up in price and it's going to go up in price a considerable amount. This headliner Lewandowski card, I can tell you right now, is the type of card. Lewandowski has been actually, a lot of people have hyped this card up this year on foot. 0.9 goals a game. This is one way to tell if a card is good in FIFA and if it's hyped up. You can look at these stats up here at the top, right? Games played and goals. 0.9 goals per game. These stats are taken from inside of FIFA by Footbin. They, they scan the cards when somebody updates the price i think it somehow scans the cards on the market and then averages out the number of goals and assists by games played with yellow and red cards it does the chemistry styles uh and stuff like that this is the type of card he was 1.2 mil last week right i think there was some hype in here for a, because he got his inform the 94 this guy is definitely absolutely going to be above 1.2 million coins again when we get to bundesliga team of the season this guy is going to get one it's going to be 98 rated i would assume and the card's going to be insane and it's going to be like 2.5 million coins right off the bat this card being 900k is going to have to rise because people can't afford that one and they're going to go have to buy their next best version of Lewandowski um, after that and that's the next thing i want to talk about if you guys want to buy prem cards right those are the ones that when we looked back at these graphs, like for Sané and for Hugo Lloris, I didn't show you this one in, uh, specifically, but look at this, bro. This dude goes for, where was it at? Where was Hugo Lloris? Hugo Lloris got panic sold big time heading into Prem Tots, uh, which was actually right here. And then he rebounded a bunch after that. Um, but who, who was I looking for again? Uh, Leroy. I'll just use Leroy's example, right? The Prem guys rose first. If we look at Sancho, Sancho kind of rose a little bit slower, right? Sancho rose a, rose a little bit slower, and then boom. Once Bundesliga hit, the guy went from 465, and then two weeks later, he went up 150,000 coins, basically, to almost 600,000. So um, the Prem guys are going to rise first, and they're going to rise fastest because Premier League is the first league that comes out. So when you're looking through these, Premier League cards are going to rise the most, right away just because they're going to be needed in squads but every single week when a new team of the season comes out and we're going to be talking about this a lot like when we're in tots because we'll talk about prem week one we'll talk about whatever comes out after that week two if they go according to the same schedule of course um we're going to be talking about the specific specific leagues a ton because those cards rise with the link investments to the team of the season cards they rise almost exponentially in those weeks uh so we'll be looking at a lot of those but um, when it go, when it comes for out of pack special cards, a lot of these guys are still at a technically low price compared to where they were. And I don't mind you guys even buying these a little bit higher than what they were. If you're just afraid of buying, you think they're too high. You feel like you've missed the boat and you want to wait a little bit longer. Then you could possibly wait until prem team of the season comes out, especially if you want a prem card. Um, then you might Wait until then and just see if there's any panic selling or even any panic selling this weekend um, as we head into most consistent team of the season where there's going to be some prem guys. There's going to be our first team of the season cards coming onto this game. So just keep an eye out for some of that stuff. Uh, it says Harry Kane's 100K right now, which is actually 
that card's on the market, I might buy it because usually, yeah, usually he's around like 110K. So if I bought one at 100, I can sell it at 110 and we're making a little bit of profit there, but I don't see it at the moment. But anyways, uh, the stuff that is the most meta, like you've already seen rise, like again, this Ben Yetter, this is the stuff that's going to go up. It's going to keep rising and it's going to rise until there's some sort of panic or, or something that makes it drop. So like this Ben Yetter being 1.5 mil right now, 1.55, 1.59 even, is crazy to me because uh, it just makes sense though, because this is one of the most hyped up cards in the game. So out of pack special cards are going to be some of the most, you know, best put one in your club, use it for your team type investment. Uh, the, the promo cards are going to do better than the informs will just because people like to use these cards, especially when they have more coins. They like to use a cool card design rather than just the inform card design. Not saying it's bad, but people just like the, the cool colors now that we have all sorts of colors in this game. We got pink, we got orange, we got two different kinds of blue, multiple different kinds of blue, team of the year cards. We got all sorts of different promo cards and colors now in this game uh, that people love using those cards. This guy right here, this nine golden card is going to be one that rises, I think, uh, center mid in the Serie A. This guy's, if he gets a TOTS card, this guy's team of the season is going to be almost club 90. It's, it's going to be just like FIFA 17, nine golden, except for the pace. I don't think they'll give him plus 10 pace on his team this season, but uh, this could be one of those guys that, you know, his team of the season card is 1.5 mil and his next highest card, or maybe his team of the season is 1 mil, 1 1.2, and his next highest card's, you know, 450K at that point. This could be the card that goes to like 600,000 coins because it's his team of the season that just brings hype to that card. And we'll talk a lot about that in the weeks to come. But I do start to do think that you'll start to see a rise in some of these cards this week. Uh, again, the best investment for these is if you're buying a team because, right, you get to buy these for your team, you put them in, and you get to watch them rise as you play with your team during team of the season. But if you want to do like an actual investment with them as well, and just buy them on a week to week basis, then we're probably going to wait for those cards until the actual leagues are out in the first week we'll buy prem and etc. as we go down the line. But I wanted to make this video today talk about the out of pack specials, because they're going to be so, so profitable during this time period, we have more out of pack specials this year, more uh, team of the week and promo teams than we've ever had in foot. Um, so I'm really interested to see how many of these cards rise. Yes, you could say that that makes more opportunities and more options for people when they're going to, to buy cards, but the ones that are super meta, the ones that have the French Premier League, Bundesliga, La Liga links, Brazilian links as well, those are the ones that are going to rise up the most. They're going to rise up a lot and they're going to do very, very well. Like this headliner Salah, man. This could be a crazy card, right? Salah gets a team of the season. It's probably going to be closer, uh, upwards of two mil, right? Because it's going to be 96, 97 rated. It's going to be a cracked out card. And especially if they do weak foot, weak foot upgrades and possibly skill move upgrades, like they've mentioned, that would be absolutely crazy. So high tier cards are going to rise the most. Um, uh, but just like, look for rarity, look for hype, look for meta. And you're going to see a lot of these cards continue rising in the next couple weeks. So again, if you haven't bought them yet, there's probably going to be another window. You might not get the lowest price, right? But if you look at the overall graph, like we looked at with Sané, uh, whether, whether you bought Sané on this Wednesday, May 8th for 389, or whether you bought him the next week on Wednesday, May 15th for 400K. So he, he went up 15,000 coins about in a week. Uh, you were fine because by the next week, the dude was up 40,000 coins. So... Um, you might not have to buy this week on some of these cards. There might be a spike and then a downturn before we head into the Premier League team of the season, especially on Prem cards. So just watch for that. Be careful with that. And we're going to be monitoring those cards very, very closely this next week. Um, the next team of the season preparation video is going to be covering team of the season cards. Uh, and then we might talk about icons in that one as well. And maybe we'll do two separate videos for that one. We'll see. But I wanted to talk about these special cards today because a lot of you guys want to buy teams. You've already bought teams. And uh, this is what you're really interested in right now, especially if you guys want to make coins. These cards are going to be fantastic ways to make coins later on in FIFA in a couple weeks during Team of the Seasons. If you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have questions and subscribe to the channel. If you're new, it's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.